This is our next big project, lithium iron phosphate. You look very happy. The heart of the off-grid, sustainable, long-term cruising. That is one expensive dinghy. We don't want them to get stolen. We're doing great so far. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Lay a description for that one. <laughs> We are Brett and Jade Evans. We bought a wrecked sailboat at auction, then dedicated the last year to bringing her back to life. Now it's time to transform her into our off-grid floating home. Subscribe and join us as we embark on our greatest expedition yet. battery looks like. I'm really hoping that a lot of this is just packaging. Let's get some power going in our boat. Also another thank you to Zeke and Horizon Aviation for letting us use their hangar and shipping services. <laughs> Tear one open and see uh, what we got. It's like, oh my gosh, it doesn't look like a it little It looks like a little couch. couch. Yeah. This is a <laughs> Lithium iron phosphate battery. And it's made specifically for boats. It's sealed up really nicely to keep water out. Here's the deal. We knew we wanted this specific technology of battery. There are only so many companies that have this tech. It's pretty new and specifically that have it for boats. We did our research, we figured out, okay, who sells them? Who has a good reputation? What do we think? What do we want to put in our boat? And we ended up deciding on Battleborn. We reached out to them and we said, hey guys, this is our boat, this is our project, this is our YouTube channel, here's what we've been doing. We took this salvage sailboat, we rebuilt it, it's been this awesome project. And they said, that's awesome, we wanna be part of the project. So. <laughs> so here they are. <laughs> they are now part of the project, they just sent us a full setup of these batteries, we're gonna give you the full tour, but yeah, definitely, this is our next big project. This is gonna be such a, a game bit, changer. I'm a little bit out of breath, because I've been a, but just, I mean, you just picked up this giant I AT did, battery. I did. 270 amp yeah. hours. We'll give a little more detailed rundown of what all we got when we get to the boat and we're installing it. <laughs> you look very happy. Do you know how to wire any of this? I thought that's what you've been researching every night for the past three weeks. How'd you fool? <laughs> oh, I like seeing you so happy. This is exciting. Quick rundown of what everything is. So we have five 8D lithium iron phosphate batteries from Batterborn. That's 1350 amp hours, all usable. We have two of the Victron MultiPlus 12 volt, 3000 volt amps, 120 amp. These will be inverters and chargers. So these will charge the batteries and then also convert the 12 volt into usable 120 volt. We have a shunt that'll tell us our battery voltage, the distributors, which will help us connect all the wires so it all is not just a giant mess. And we have two solar chargers, which will then charge the batteries once we get solar panels, which we have not got yet, but they're coming soon. And then a bag full of goodies with all of the fuses and connectors and all sorts of good stuff. But basically, I'm stoked. This is exactly what you wanted. This is, this is, yeah, when I was building out our schematic of like what I wanted, this is it. Like, exactly. Why? Because this is like, this is pretty much as much battery we can fit in our boat reasonably. And the highest end products to connect it all, this will make it so that we can just be off grid. And once we get the solar, we really won't ever have to run our generator and we'll be able to have hot water. We'll be able to run a water maker. We'll be able to do everything pretty much unlimited. Like, this is it. This is like the heart of the off-grid, sustainable, long-term cruising. This is what will make it possible. So, Battleborn, thank you. And uh, let's see if we can get this in the boat. We're gonna sort through the boxes, make sure that we fold them, make them really nice to throw away. And the most important thing is to make sure we're not gonna leave important items in the box that we'll have to try to come find in the dumpster later. That. Has happened. That has happened. That has happened. That has happened. So learning, you know, learn from your experiences. Do better next time. This is, we're doing better this time. All right, 
fun unboxing part is over. We've got them all laid out, taking our pictures. Now it's time to do the hard part and put them in our little bitty trunk. They're significantly lighter than our other batteries. The next step is to actually get the batteries from the trunk of our car into the boat. It's morning now. We left them in the trunk overnight because the gel coat hadn't quite cured yet. And it's almost there. We're gonna let it sit for a little while longer. We've got the propane heater in there. We've got our regular heaters on and it is like a sauna in here. It's very nice. Right now, we are gonna take our old batteries, our AGMs, and we are going to dispose of them properly. I think we're gonna take them to an auto zone or something like that, but they are so freaking heavy. Put it down. The, the dogs are pretty confident that they're coming. Are we gonna, we can take them, I guess. Would you guys like to, oh my gosh, look at you guys. <laughs> you can tell them. <laughs> uh, I'll go for Reese's. We have five batteries in total that we need to dispose of. We have three of them out here in the cockpit already. We have these two right here and one right there. We need to pick them up, carry them down these steps, and put them into the dinghy so we can take them across the way and dispose <laughs> of them. Well, then we have to unload them out of the dinghy, carry them up the ramp, put them in the car, drive them to someplace. Yeah. Lots of steps. Step one. Pick Step one batteries. is pick up batteries without hurting your back. Repeat five minutes. Did you count the other numbers? Or did you say one? made it to the car. I just wanted to show you guys. Check out the squat. We got some serious squatting going on. <laughs> That's a heavy trunk. Okay, we are gonna take the car over to the loading zone and unload some batteries and load some batteries. We thought about waiting for high tide so it'd be easier going up and down the ramp, but we really want to just get it done, so. So we're just gonna suck it up. <laughs> we're just gonna suck it up and walk down the ramp and try not to slide. This is what we're working with right now. We're trying to decide what to do because we have three dead batteries in the dinghy and five good batteries in the trunk. We really don't want to open our trunk and take some of the batteries and leave the rest just because we don't want them to get stolen. So we're thinking what we may do is bring all of the dead batteries up, put them by the car, take all of the good batteries out, put them in the dinghy, take the dinghy to the boat, unload them, and then come put the dead batteries in the car. We have the three dead ones. Five not dead ones. Driving. And two almost dead humans. Okay, we're got three down, two more to go. These ones are insanely lighter. They are maybe, I don't know, we can probably look up the actual weights. I think they're like 75. But it feels like half the weight. They're a lot easier to carry. We're doing great so far. One more. Let's go throw those in the car. Don't. These things are impressively heavy. These are heavier than the... No, they're not. No. Yeah. But for their size, they heavy. Yeah. Yeah.
realized what expensive dinghy. Sorry, was. <laughs> Check that out. Oh my goodness. What a beauty. Asa, what do you think of my stern line? How cool is this, Brett? This is a lot of cool. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> this is pretty epic. I feel like this is one of those memories we'll remember a lot. Uh-huh. Could you imagine trying to do this with the little oh one? Oh my gosh, little Merc. We'd have to do one at a time. Yeah. We're trying to decide where are we going to put them. Hi, puppy dogs. We've got a dingo in a battery box. Hope it's all dry. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Can I see the bottom of your feet? Are they dry? Not light. Good. I think we're good. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that feels great. Woohoo! You don't have horizon leveling on, by the way. Good to know. Three. Turn around. There's one. There's one. We're still figuring out arrangements of these batteries. It should be wide enough to fit five across. We just need to know now. We just need to know now before we put all five in and then have to flip them all around. <laughs> also. Also, Jay's a grandma. Broke her hip. My hip's down. One hip down. So I got three hips, but we're down one. Are you counting your hips? One, yeah. two, three. Yeah, all right. Yeah. You know, we find a way. Watch your hips. They're tender. The way that these wires originally run is along this wall right here, which I think they can do, but I think I'll have to do that before these batteries are in because it needs to run on, <laughs> on this side of the terminal. What do you think? It's gonna fit? I think it's gonna fit. Or three fifths of the way there. What do you think? It's gonna be tight. <laughs> we'll see how precise their measurements were online. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about the Coast Guard regulation of them sliding. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be just fine. Nice and snug. Perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be tight. Oh, no problem. It'll fit. It'll fit. Do you think? Yeah. It'll fit. I'm not convinced. I am. It'll fit. There's gonna be a quarter inch. <laughs> Okay. Stay. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. What are they? There's one. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at all that extra room. It really is like they were meant to be there. Like they fit perfect. This was always our destiny. This was our destiny. Look at that. Holy yesness. <laughs> you know, Brett's excited when he starts making up words. <laughs> Pretty sure that's in the Oxford Dictionary. Not am wearing Webster though. Whoa, horizon leveling is going berserk. Dingo's favorite place on the boat to hang out. It's actually not on the boat, it's in the dinghy. Just thought I'd show you guys because it's kind of cute. <laughs> Batteries are unloaded. Dogs and trash are loaded. You're good puppers. You are such good puppers. Yes, you are. Penny, I need your snoop. Thank you. Trade you.
Thanks, guys. That easy? Done. Batteries have been dropped off at the auto parts store. And they even let us use their dumpster. They let us use our, their dumpster. So there's a chance in some places, if you try hard enough, you can actually sell them. And we probably could have got maybe 10 bucks a piece, maybe 15, maybe 20 if you try hard enough. But honestly, at this point, they're gone and they're disposed of properly. They'll recycle and they'll probably give somebody else credit on their core battery. Now we can go wire because we now don't we have can... a whole lot of time. Exactly. I don't know if you guys know this. Maybe we've mentioned it, maybe we haven't. We want to go south next week because it's getting cold. The antifreeze has started showing up in certain boat stores and uh, yeah, it's time to get out of here. So we are on a time crunch and we are working our little tushies off to get everything done because we are not getting stuck here another winter. Right, Brett? Sail Absolutely the, not. We're, we need to we get ourselves. We will swim south if we have to. We are going to the Annapolis <laughs> Boat Show. First, we have to install some batteries the rest of the way. And that's this afternoon. Yeah. Because yeah. we need to be able to go out, stay out. What's their motto? Get, get out it. there, stay out there. Get out there, stay out there. <sighs> yeah. We're making progress here. Sat here, mostly me, and stared at the batteries for quite a while. Making progress. I kept checking out my breath. We have one flipped around. That's awesome progress. I've been tasked with filming while Jade goes and gets our cabling. All right, I think I can only do one at a time. Look at what this is. So, if you ever wanted to get rid of like a dead body or something, just wrap it in this and... That's where your mind goes? What is wrong with you? I just picked it up near the edge of the boat and thought, hey, if I fell in, I would sink. You wouldn't let go? Well, because I'm alive, I can let go, but if I wasn't, it would sink. Wait, you were going to let go? Do you know how expensive that is? <laughs> Swimming back to the surface. <laughs> anyway, here's our positive. We've got a, one like this in black that's our negative. The next phase of our project is to cut these, and Brett is going to explain that in great detail. Would you call it grave detail? Quick, simple, funny, interesting next step is we need to figure out the shortest distance to connect each of the batteries to the distributor. And we want them each to be the same length because if they aren't the same length, then whichever one is the shortest will get used more than the one that has a long length. So by having each of the wires the same length, they will all be used equally. They'll all have the same length of life and die at the same time. Gravely. Each of these batteries is a bucket of water. So we have five buckets of water and they're all going into one very large bucket. We want each of them to drain at the same rate. So they're all full of water. We want them all to go down at the same rate. If one has a really long hose and one has a really short hose, the one with the short hose is going to drain faster than the one with the really long hose. So by making each of the wire runs, each of the hoses, the same length, each of the five batteries will drain or charge at the same rate. Did you come up with that metaphor yourself or did you read that on a forum? I just made that up right now because you wanted me to speak more metaphorical. Metaphorically. No. We got the massive cable because it was a 4 aught cable, just in case you want to know the name of it. And it's so big, and we got the big one because we have quite a few hydro systems in our boat. Hydro just means it takes a lot of power, so by having the bigger 4 aught cable, there's less resistance, which means that we can more efficiently use all of our systems, more efficiently charge our batteries, and, well, yeah, it just makes it more efficient, faster, easier, better. Bigger, faster, stronger. Can't think of anything else, yeah. 4 four aught meaning 4 slash 0, or zero 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 zero. Yeah. Zero 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 zero. We figured out our distance is three feet. We could go shorter, it's actually only like two feet, but the cabling is so stiff that it needs to be able to kind of have an arc to it instead of just like a straight line with a curve. So we'll do one section at three feet, and then if we can, we'll cut it shorter, but that's probably the, the length we'll need to do. But next dilemma is that when I ordered our crimper, it came with some awesome cutters. <clears throat> It says up to four hot cable, I don't really... Yeah, uh, I got taken on Amazon for that one. So... Link in description. Yeah, yeah link in description <laughs> for that one. 
thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and join us next week when we finish the wiring of the batteries and fingers crossed it actually works. Jump on it. Jump on it.